built on legacies and legends. And decorated with championships of gold. The WWE Hall of Fame is home to the biggest names in sports entertainment. The class of 2016 honors the greatest innovators, pioneers, and larger than life personas. All have earned their rightful spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. But there is only one superstar who can simply be called the icon. Right now, the most popular athlete to ever compete on WCW. This is the road to the WWE Hall of Fame began over three decades ago when Sting teamed up with another future WWE Hall of Famer, the Ultimate Warrior. With their signature face paint and dominating physical stature, the Blade Runners would quickly take over the Universal Wrestling Federation. These two men are making quite an impact. They have an unorthodox style. As great a duo, a new duo, as I've seen in years. Sting's compelling appearance was impossible to ignore. This young man has really become one of the most popular athletes in wrestling. Woo! really captivated the fans. He's got some tremendous appeal. Sting's dominance in the National Wrestling Alliance could not be denied. He's such a great athlete, he's sometimes breathtaking. Which ultimately put him on a collision course with wrestling royalty, the Nature Boy himself, Ric Flair. We have signed Nature Boy Ric Flair versus Sting for the World's Heavyweight Championship. The opportunity to dethrone the biggest name in wrestling would catapult the icon towards immortality. Sting, you're a bum! Ric Flair still in the apex of his career. The Stinger is rapidly approaching that superstar status. You thought that this punk kid couldn't take the nature boy. The beastie boy is fed up with your garbage. At the inaugural Clash of the Champions on March 27th, 1988, Sting would face Ric Flair for the NWA Heavyweight Championship. The electricity it will not stop, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to feel those butterflies tearing you, and you've got to get in the ring, and you've got to jump on the world heavyweight wrestling. With the Four Horsemen manager J.J. Dillon suspended over the ring in a steel cage, there would be nothing standing in Sting's way. been making a name for himself ever since he showed up tonight. He looks to prove that he's not only the future, but that he's the right now, too. The power, speed, and agility that this man has put into one complete package that's just awe-inspiring, King. Yeah, you're right. This, this young man giving the daunting task of trying to defeat Ric Flair tonight. And you have to wonder if he realizes how big this moment truly is. I mean, he may have the physical tools, but you got to wonder if he has the mental acumen needed to beat someone at the level of the Nature Boy. And that's right, Cole. I said mental acumen. champion looks incredibly confident as always heading into this all-important title defense king of course he's confident Cole. rick flair is undoubtedly the wrestler of the 80s but he may very well be looking the future in the face and he may not like what he sees
Introducing now the challenger from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 260 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sting! And now, the world's heavyweight champion, five times over, ladies and gentlemen, weighing in at 242 pounds, the world's heavyweight champion from Charlotte, North Carolina, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. One thing I'd like to point out is this match will have a special time limit of 45 minutes or one fall, King. Yeah, and you have to think that that can only play to the Nature Boy's advantage. I mean, seeing that he has made his name in 60 minute long matches his entire career. And you know, King, despite the way Ric Flair talks, I can't help but think he has a great deal of respect. And you know, King, despite the way Ric Flair talks, I can't help but think he has a great deal of respect for Sting. And with that in mind, it'll be interesting to see how the Nature Boy approaches this matchup. Well, you know what, Cole? I fully expect Nature to approach this like any other I mean, look for him to dictate the pace of the match, and when the smoke clears, look for him to walk away with his championship reign still intact. Not tremendous damage to the neck. A textbook maneuver there. This night will undoubtedly go down in history, and not just for the action we're witnessing here tonight at Clash of the Champions. And also going on right now on pay-per-view is WWE's WrestleMania 4. And at WrestleMania, a new WWE champion will be crowned as 14 superstars. And look at this, Sting looking to overwhelm the champ with his power and his speed oh. advantage. Whoa, look out! Over the top goes Flair, and Sting's in control. And Flair's in big trouble out there on the floor. Oh, he's begging off. I don't blame him. Yeah, but Sting, look at taking the fight to Flair. Watch out. Oh, oh into the post, shoulder first. Oh, a huge mistake by Sting. That could be, that could be big, big. Bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. <laughs> Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here? Six. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Eight. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Sidewalk slam. He is slowly getting dissected. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. He's too busy bragging and boasting the battle into this matchup. There's a corpse on that one.
Ric Flair in the apex of his career. And the Stigler, of course, rapidly approaching that superstar status. If he can rack up a victory here tonight, it'll no doubt put him over the hump. And he may very well be on his way, Cole. I mean, a win here tonight over Ric Flair and capturing the World Heavyweight Championship would undoubtedly put Sting in the upper echelon of competitors. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. The reversal from Nate. The champ counters, and you see the result. <laughs> One move after the other. It's devastating. This is hard to watch. This is bad. Ric Flair is getting ready here. He's making a statement here with this attack. Coming out strong, there's the stinger oh. splash in the corner. Flair's in big trouble, but you know what? There's, there's not much time left in this match. Yeah, the clock ticking down as Sting is going to set up. Ah. Flair for the Scorpion death lock, and he's got it clicked in. Is Flair going to tap out middle of the ring? This is amazing. Flair is going to lose. We're going to have a new champion. Yeah, okay, look at the time, the time, the time. Is Flair going to tap out? The referee calls for the bell. Did Flair tap? I can't tell. What Ladies happened? and gentlemen, our referee has secured the decisions from our judges, and they read as follows. Our first of three judges has scored the match for the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Our second of three judges has scored the match for Sting. Our third and final judge has scored this match a draw. Therefore, still heavyweight champion of the world, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Flair is still the champion, but Sting has nothing to be ashamed of. a breathtaking 45-minute battle with the Nature Boy, Sting's popularity skyrocketed to new heights. At the Great American Bash, Sting solidified his place at the top of World Championship Wrestling by winning the World Championship for the first time. The man called Sting became the franchise of WCW and proudly waved the company flag all throughout the 90s. The arrival of the New World Order signaled the dawn of a new era in WCW. Gone were the days of neon colors and smiles. Sting had to evolve and adopted a new look and a new attitude in the war for WCW's soul. Following a dominant run as a unified group, the NWO split into rivaling factions, NWO Hollywood and the NWO Wolfpack. 
with both groups vying for Sting's allegiance. The franchise made his decision known on WCW Monday Nitro. He's with the Rock and Red! There's no doubt about that now! No longer a silent warrior, the Red and Black Sting had a career resurgence with his newfound alliance. Well, back in the house! However, the unfortunate drawback to having new friends is having new enemies. Sting, you are so stupid. I've waited for a long time for you. People have dreamed about Sting and the Hitman forever. In Halloween Havoc, you will get the opportunity to step in the ring with the excellence of execution. The Sharpshooter versus the Scorpion Deathlock. The Pink and Black versus the Red and Black. Red Heart versus Sting. of WCW Monday Nitro and on Thunder. WCW, Hall, Nash, Warrior, DDP, Goldberg, The Giant, and these two rank right up there. No, you're right, and they have nine world championships between them at this point. Nine! Bret Hart is a five-time champion, while Sting is a four-time world champion. This rivalry has turned into a bitter war up until now. Neither Sting nor Bret Hart have been interested in obeying the rules, and I don't expect tonight to be much different. No, and I think a lot of it stems from their signature moves. I mean, the sharpshooter and the scorpion deathlock. They're basically the same move, and I think that has been the anger that Bret Hart has towards Sting. feet. Six. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. Now back to the ring. <laughs> Sting with a great offensive show. And it looks like this one's going out to the floor. I don't mind. Let's see a little outside the ring action. Sting with a great offensive show. Sting laying into it with a punch. Displaying a wide range of offense here. Back inside the ring now. Four. 
He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. the neck tonight. Yeah, that neck is going to be sore tomorrow. Oh, and Hart knocked down with a hard shoulder tackle. Went for the leapfrog and... Wait a minute, King. I think Hart may have, may have hurt his knee. I think so, too. King being told to stay back. Referee checking on the... And, whoa, well, it's King sick. going right to work on the knee, and the official's going to have to back off Sting here. Doing a great job, the referee. Hey, look at this. Look, look at Red Hart. Look at that. He's got something in his hand. Coley's got something in his hand. And the referee is oblivious to it. So Sting. I think Bret Hart... He just duped Sting. Uh -oh. oh, and Sting, though, with a clothesline. Wait, 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 look at that. It came out of his hand. Now Sting has whatever that, that was that Bret Hart had hidden in his trunks. Yeah, Sting's got to be careful oh. here, and the official stopping Sting from using that. Oh. And a low blow, a blatant low blow. Oh, that's our United States champion. Look at Bret Hart stoop to any lengths necessary. have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Oh, what a crossbody! He's not exactly pop. Brett makes the cover. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. This night has truly lived up to its name, King. A night of havoc in sports entertainment. One big match after another. Oh, yeah, and speaking of havoc, man, the Hitman is really unleashing some havoc right now on the Stinger. I see what you did there. Make no mistake about it, this is getting ugly. Yeah, now we're just talking about his face. Show. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Here comes Sting. Hitler, and he falls hard. And look at this. Bret Hart going to continue Whoa. on the attack. He understands, King. He's got Sting in a vulnerable state here. He's got to continue the attack. Now it looks to me like Bret Hart wants to get outside the ring where he knows he can't lose that title. Yeah, and he can also inflict even more damage. An already stunned Sting. Right hand by Hart. Dangerous situation out here. What's Hart going to do? Oh, my, oh God. my God. Ribs first to the barricade. Man, Bret Hart is pulling out all the stops right in front of the referee, but it is outside the ring. Yeah, and I believe Bret Hart will take a count out victory happily here. Trying to pull himself back into the ring. Is he, he going to make it? Look at Hart. Yeah, Bret Hart. Ooh. Big blow across the chest. I don't think Sting has any idea where he is right now. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, but the hitman knows exactly what he's doing. Sting is just, he's in survival mode. Oh, my God, an elbow right to the official. I think Sting thought the official was the, what was Hart, then Hart dropped the leg drop on the ref. What is, Bret Hart has lost his mind. I can't believe that. Just toying with the 
competition a little. Uh, going to the top, high risk, nice move. And a dangerous move. A knockdown drag out brawl, complete with a big stop. Man, these guys are throwing bombs, they're pulling out all the stops. But Hart really taking it to Sting here. And given the hitman's lack of consideration for the rule book, I wouldn't be Bret Hart suffering here and could be seriously hurt. Oh, you're right, Cole. The hitman's been hit hard, and you can never be too careful because anytime someone withstands that type of offense, it's Sting. And now Sting taking it to Bret Hart. Referee is still down. Stinger splash! Oh, wait, wait, I think, I think Sting hit his head on that turnbuckle. And Bret Hart. The excellence of execution, looking to take advantage, and he's got Sting's back! Oh my oh. God! A disgusting assault! Oh, Red Hart with Sting! Oh. Man, that's three strikes, Sting should be out! I think he is out, cold, but so's the official. I'm telling you, I have never seen, I have never seen behavior like this from Brett the Hitman Hart. What's he doing oh now? Oh God, off the ropes with the bat driven into Sting! Amazing. There's no way Sting's gonna get up from this. And, and now look at Bret Hart. He's gonna try to revive the referee. Sting has not moved. And Bret Hart looking for the patented oh. sharpshooter. The official's back on his feet. Sharpshooter locked in. Can you believe that the Hitman is gonna win like this, Cole? Sting is out, and the official's gonna call this match. USA, the fabulous Freebirds! First original three-man tag team, the fabulous Freebirds revolutionized the world of wrestling. Michael Hayes, the charismatic architect. I mean, ladies, am I sexy? Boy, am I sexy? Buddy Jack Roberts, the technician. We are without a doubt the greatest combination of wrestling has ever seen today. And the flashy Jimmy Garvin. From Miami, that's gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Took the tag team world by storm. The brash team were known as the rock stars of wrestling for adding rock and roll music to their entrance. The song Bad Street USA embodied their larger than life personas and grabbed the attention of audiences, selling out arenas across the country. We were the originators of rock and roll. We were the originators of tag team wrestling. All young and with big ideas on how to transform sports entertainment, the Freebirds, using their Freebird rule, could take any two members and always dominate in the ring. Wrestling in Texas, the group had one of the greatest rivalries in history with the most beloved tag team of the Lone Star State, the Von Erichs. War of the feud to the Von Erichs and the Freebird. Throughout the years, the tag titles would change hands multiple times between the two iconic teams. But as important as the titles were, they would take a back seat to the enormous animosity and physicality of the Freebirds Von Erich rivalry. The reason the people of Texas want us to go home is because we make the Von Erichs look so bad. This war is not between Texas and Georgia, it's between decency and filth. No match epitomized the years of bad blood and hostility more than when Hayes and Roberts took on Kerry and Kevin Von Erich. USA, and of course, they are two-thirds of the six-man World Tag Team Champions. Yet yeah, conspicuous by his absence, Michael, is the third free bird and the final piece of the six-man Tag Team Champions.
Kevin and Kerry Von Eric will have their hands full here tonight, King. It's the All-American Boys versus the Boys from Bad Street. Yeah, and it can only be seen right here in world-class championship wrestling inside this famed venue in Dallas, Texas. satisfaction. King, don't be surprised if we see Michael Hayes break out into that signature strut of his at various points during this match, or maybe show off that moonwalk he loves to do. Yeah, he may love to do the moonwalk, but I'll tell you, this crowd despises it. Every time he does it, he nearly gets himself booed out of the arena. Man, Kevin Von Eric, what offense. Michael Hayes is not someone to sleep on. Atomic drop! I can't help but wonder how different the complexion of this match would be if the third Freebird was out here at ringside. Well, I think we can all confidently assume that he would somehow find a way to interject himself into the action. find it amazing, King, that Kevin Von Erich can be so effective in the ring while competing barefoot. Yeah, right. Well... Kevin definitely is a man who beats to his own drum. And amazingly, he makes it work. I don't think I could do it. Executed perfectly. His chest may be black and blue after this. The Freebird is really dishing out the punishment to Kevin Von Eric King. What do you make of this systematic dismantling? Well, the Freebirds did say that they were looking to take the Von Erics on a long drive down Pad Street, USA. And it looks like they're doing exactly that. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees a belt, he likes to hit below it. You could call this a good old-fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing. A butt whooping. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Oh, these Freebirds, Cole, have competed in various promotions all over the country, including the WWE and the AWA. And while they were in the AWA, they famously helped longtime friend Jimmy Garvin and his partner defeat the promotion's tag team champions. Tossed out like a rag doll. He 
drop. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Oh, it's hard to believe, but this is the 20th year of this amazing promotion, which got its start all the way back in 1966. And over the years, some of the biggest names in sports entertainment have competed here in Texas. The Knicks are trash talking underhanded tactics and pure charisma make the Freebirds such a difficult team to contend against, King. Yeah, and it looks like Kevin Von Erich is experiencing that firsthand here tonight, Cole. I mean, he's really going to have to dig down deep if he wants to survive this one. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hold. Would you look at this? Can you believe it? This is an undying will to succeed. I'll tell you, this has been an incredible matchup. These bitter rivals, and now chaos has broken out between the Freebirds and the Von Erics. Oh, look at this, Buddy Roberts. Oh my gosh, he's lugging in a figure four on Kevin Von Erich. And carrying Michael Hayes, and this is completely out of oh. control with a big discus punch. All oh, this taking place after the... Uh, they may have won the battle, but not the war. The Freebirds in retreat. The Von Eriks were just the beginning. Following a legendary rivalry, the Freebirds became one of the hottest draws around. The world took notice, and the fabulous Freebirds landed in World Championship Wrestling. I'm back! World Championship Wrestling is here! It's gonna be exciting! Better stay tuned! The official addition of longtime friend Jimmy Jam Garvin would propel the faction to new heights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heaven don't want us, and hell supreme will take over! Sold out arenas revolutionary ideas, and above all, classic matches. It wasn't long before the Freebirds earned a championship opportunity. Maddest boys on the block. And at the turn of the decade, discovered a new look. We will always look F-I-N-E-5. A new level of stardom. We're coming to embarrass you in front of the biggest audience ever.
former WCW World and United States Tag Team Champions, the fabulous Freebirds. Well, they have to be considered one of the greatest tag teams of all time at this point. No one can deny what they've been able to accomplish. Michael P.S. Hayes and Jimmy Jam Garvin are certainly a veteran team with an impressive track record, but they're going to have their hands full tonight with Diamond Dallas Page and Cactus Jack. Yeah, you're right about that, Cole. Tonight, they better keep their focus on their opponents instead of shaking their hips at the pretty girls. wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. What goes up? He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. This is the type of attack that just wears down an opponent. Yeah, and you can see it working right here. That move did it. Now, this has gone way past the point of insults and gone right to humiliation. That's right. That was humiliating. Michael Hayes has so many ways that he can get under his opponent's skin. Whether it's his signature strut or his moonwalk. I mean, he has truly become one of the masters of playing mind games. Man, let's not forget perhaps his most lethal weapon, his gift for gab. Nobody can tear down an opponent verbally quite like Michael P.S. Hayes. You know, for years, people assumed Diamond Dallas Page would be nothing more than a manager. But he's recently decided to use his brain for his own game, King. Yeah, and it appears to have been a wise decision. He's really shown that he has what it takes to one day become a main eventer. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Look at Jimmy Jam Garvin and Cactus Jack going at it. Oh, and, oh, and a rake of the eyes. And a big headbutt. Garvin to the outside. I'm telling you, this Cactus Jack is capable of anything. Watch out. Yeah, one of the most vicious competitors we've ever seen. Oh, no. Oh, backbreaker out there on the floor. Knee right to the spine. Cactus Jack doing a, oh, well, was doing a little bit of showboating, and he uh -oh. paid for it with a right hand by P.S. and then Jimmy Jam. Great offense by Jimmy Garvin. Action outside. What a combination. You just don't know what's coming next. Four. Five. Six. All this action outside the ring. Real dangerous out here. The ref is getting closer to 10. I'm sensing a pattern here, Cole. And what would that be? Well, he's going to do the same thing over and over and over. Oh, jeez. That'll send your inside scrambling all over the place. No kidding. This guy's a mess. Cactus Jack has really made a name for himself with his wild antics here in WCW over the past year or so. Yeah, and if the Freebirds are smart, they'll keep him inside the ring. Cactus gets even more dangerous when he's out on that arena floor.
Dang, Cactus and DDP have worked great together against the Freebirds. Well, I was not surprised at that. These are two incredible athletes here. And look at this. Oh, uh oh down goes DDP. Maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, no. Cheap shot by Cactus Jack. There he goes. Watch out. Oh. DDP and Cactus working great together. Cactus now the legal man. What's this? Leg drop to the back of the neck. And Cactus Jack comes down on you hard, doesn't he? And DDP as well! Oh no! Uh -oh. That'll cost him tag made! Up for a lifetime! Michael Hayes is looking to end it. The Freebirds have certainly gained in popularity of late Kane, but they've definitely not changed their style. They'll still take a shortcut at the opportunity. We got a cover. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. We got a cover. A knockdown drag out brawl, complete with a big stop. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Look at Diamond Dallas Page here. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. And there's the reversal from Diamond Dallas Page. The lack of experience competing as a team is really coming through right now for Diamond Dallas Page and Cactus Jack King. Yeah, and when you put that lack of experience up against the team as talented as the Fabulous, they're ready for that. Man, that's impressive. Oh, there it is. What a maneuver. That's how you put away an opponent. I love it. It'll really be something if DDP can recover from this. Not this. He's looking at it again. And Michael Hayes makes him pay for all that. Take a look at what's going on in there. This show of ability might bother some, but it is impressive. Can he score the pin? truly are fabulous. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners. The greatest rock and roll band of all time, the fabulous Freebirds. Well, the Freebirds appear to have one thing on their mind, and that's next week's U.S. Tag Team title matchup. Absolutely. And if the Freebirds are half as impressive as they were here tonight, we'll be looking at new champions. Former corrections officer from Cobb County, Georgia, Big Boss Man, burst onto the scene in 1988, ready to enforce his brand of justice in WWE. Big Boss Man is the law, is the order. With his mix of power and agility, Big Boss Man formed a human bulldozer that many struggled to stop, thus earning his reputation for being a bruiser you didn't want to mess with. He knocked the wind right out of him. Big Boss Man continued to find success, making him one of the most popular superstars in WWE. With the start of the Attitude Era, Big Boss Man made his return in 1998. McMahon security hole. It's a Big Boss Man! He quickly aligned himself with Mr. McMahon and the corporation to help battle against Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm enforcing McMahon's law! You're gonna bad by it! Big Boss Man embraced the dark side of the badge, with more vicious tactics, Boss Man catapulted to championship gold, winning four hardcore championships and partaking in his most memorable rivalry with Big Show. With the deepest regrets and tears that are soaked, I'm sorry to hear your dad finally croaked. You are so late. Oh. Oh. After winning the WWE title at Survivor Series in 1999, Big Show sought to seek revenge on Big Boss Man for his horrific acts against his family. 
Will Bossman continue to humiliate Big Show and his loved ones? Or will Big Show finally put a stop to Bossman? Disgusting it was. said that he doesn't even know what he's capable of. And that is a scary thought. Oh, you got that right, Cole. Boss Man has touched on every emotion Big Show has, and now he has to deal with an anger giant. There's a very real chance that Boss Man lives to regret his actions. The title is on the line, and Big Show at 17, 500 pounds, wants to dismantle the big boss man and leave the man from Cobb County, Georgia, in a variety of pieces. Well, let's face it, Big Show may have the size advantage, Cole, but boss man may very well have the mental advantage. I mean, which in many cases is even more important. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. <laughs> Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Misjudge that. Big Show doing some work with his striking here. Big Boss Man defeated The Rock during this WWE Championship opportunity. And not surprising. Big Show has started out this match on a rampage. He has been dominating Boss Man. Yeah, we had a feeling the champ would come on strong, but my goodness, he is a house of fire. Look at Big Show go here. And a headbutt. Boss Man, I don't know. Oh, come on now. Whoa, Albert, what are you thinking? Oh, Albert's not even involved in this match. Well, he is now. <laughs> That'll give you a headache. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, are you kidding me? Oh, slam to the announce table. And from behind, Boss Man with that baton. Rock and champion Triple H in a triple threat match. Yeah, and the victory came just three days after Big Show buried his father. That had to be a truly emotional few days for Big Show and his family. Three. The Big Boss Man showing who's in charge. Look at the arrogant speed shown by the Big Boss Man. Man has moved forward. That's what you expect from Big Boss Man. Oh, 
impressive was that? Just sending your foe crashing to the canvas. Crashing is the right word. Big Show escapes that one. Yeah, can't like witness out of the world's largest athlete. Here's a line I never thought I'd say. Holy mackerel! Can he end it quickly? If the referee counts. Big Show finding a path of destruction currently. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. We'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. at this point, especially after what went down at his father's funeral. Yeah, man, I still can't believe we actually saw Big Boss Man drag Big Show's father's casket from the back of his car as he drove away. We got a cover. It's a big fight feel here in this arena. The WWE Universe hanging on every move. You're right, Cole. It's electric here. The WWE Universe is loving this match. He wasted too much time on that one. Oh! Oh, the confidence of Big Boss Man is really starting to show, Michael. Got that big ego. The WWE Champion, we got a cover. Big Show with a great offensive display. He was able to reverse that on the offensive here. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Guys on, look out. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Boss man may finish things here. Oh, look out. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Man sees the open. and big boss man. This is insane. Does this building have a curfew? I feel like we might be here all night. What a now I have to question if he'll be able to come back after that. Let's it's a heck we're gonna win the title. Big kick out by the big show. Uh, what did you see that? There's no way he can nip up like that. He just did. We saw it with our own eyes. Oh. Man, that big boot, that may do the boss man in right there. And Big Show looking for the victory. That massive hand of his, the world's largest athlete, Big Show. Here comes the world's largest choke slam. And cover. And Big Show retains the title. During the early 90s, this Dallas native would begin her ascent to stardom by competing in the USWA. Please welcome Miss Texas. After winning several women's championships in USWA, she would explode on the national scene in WCW as Jacqueline. 
bringing along a unique physical nature previously unseen in sports entertainment. This is the real deal. In the midst of rebuilding its women's division, WWE sought out Jacqueline, whose aggressive tactics would culminate in exhilarating matches with top-tier superstars, regardless of gender. I can be everybody, man or woman. Jacqueline, as tough as any female I've ever seen. She's a fierce competitor. Jacqueline would make sports entertainment history by becoming the first African-American to win the WWE Women's Championship. She did it! Jacqueline's won the women's title! Jacqueline's superiority would attract challengers, more specifically, Ivory, who wanted nothing more than to rip away Jacqueline's ultimate prize. Jackie, there's nothing more that I would love to do than to humiliate you in front of the entire world. You could beat me on my worst day. If you think you're woman enough, Will Ivory upset the Texas native and win the women's championship? Or will Jacqueline's dominance in the WWE continue? seen today, Cole. champion and I think it's safe to say that she is as tough as any man on the roster today. Boy, that's the truth, Cole. And if you forget it, Jacqueline isn't afraid to remind you time in and time out. So much at stake here in this one, King, as Jacqueline's Women's Championship is on the line. Yeah, and Jacqueline has said that she considers anyone who challenges for her title to be her worst enemy. Apparently, getting into that mindset helps her focus on successfully defending the goal. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Yeah, very, very smart move. King, I'd say Ivory has the advantage when it comes to co Ivory looking to end this quickly. Nice reversal from Ivory. She's having a hard time getting back to her feet after that. Three. Ivory is really feeling it. Here she goes, back in the ring now. And sometimes that neck pain can be felt all the way down the spine. Wow, I didn't know she had that move in her repertoire. Jacqueline is a force within the ring. She's a house of fire now. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due. Michael. Great counter. 
King, I'd say Ivory has the advantage when it comes to cutting and speed. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely, Cole. But when it comes to power, I'd have to give the edge to Jacqueline. In fact, she might be the strongest woman on the entire roster. And a quick pin attempt by Jacqueline. Like Jacqueline, Ivory considers herself to be the class of the division. It looks to cement that claim with a win here tonight. Well, Ivory can claim. Can she keep her down? Maybe. Rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy there. Back between the ropes. Don't let that smile on Ivory fool you. And his heartless attack continues. Oh, man. This is getting tough to watch. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, looking to put an end to this one. We got a cover. Wendy Richter, Trish Stratus, Sherry Martel, Lita, and of course, Fabulous Moolah. So many great Hall of Famers help make the Women's Championship the prestigious prize it is today. Oh, she does it again. She's got a one-track mind in this match. And there's the reversal. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. She is such a professional. She knows exactly what she's doing in there. Wait a minute, she's going for it again. Whoa, don't get up. Wait a minute, she's going for it again. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Here we go. Two. It's over. Jacqueline retains the women's title. Man, that was impressive. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's Champion, Jacqueline. Well, this matchup could have gone either way, King, but Jacqueline picked up the victory. Yeah, and she once again proved why she is the most dominant female on the roster today.